happy Sunday, guys. You know that Adana and I normally don't make a big deal out of where we come from, our background, you know, our skin color, whatever. We just love each other and that's beautiful and that's how it should be. On the other hand, we also, of course, don't want to deny that we have different backgrounds and that, you know, have a different cultural uh, background and obviously with that brings certain things to the relationship that, in my view, are very enriching and very special. So, today, I want to share with you my perspective on the major problems of living with a black girl. Number one, makeup. Every girl obviously loves makeup and especially Adana, I think, uh, does an amazing job with her makeup. She looks so beautiful and I'm sure most of you have seen her videos on, you know, how to get ready and it's just amazing. But it also, first of all, takes a very, very long time. So whenever we want to go out, I need to make sure that she gets ready at least about, I would say about two hours before we actually have to leave. Sometimes by now, and by the way, Adana, please now close your ears because you're not supposed to know this, but I even tell her sometimes the dinner is at seven o'clock rather than eight. So, you know, by the time we really have to leave, she's actually ready. Secondly, you can never ever again wear a white shirt when you go out with a black girl. Why? Try it once and look at your color and your shoulders. If we go to an event, at the end of the night, you come back home and your whole shirt is ruined. I don't know how many shirts I've already thrown away. Now that actually also leads me to my third topic, which is, and this is not a surprise, the hair. The hair can also actually influence the character and how they feel. You can have the long, beautiful weave. You can have the diva, the elegant, the quiet one. And you can have the short, feisty, energetic Adana. Or you can have the sort of more relaxed, chilled locks, you know, dreadlock, full locks, whatever locks you want. Adana as well, that kind of takes it easy. So depending on her hair type, she might adjust her character as well. You have to understand, for black girls especially, the hair is probably even before the husband, the number one topic they talk about. The hair is holy. Treating your hair, washing your hair, watching tutorials on hair, buying the right hair type, relaxing hair or not, perming, whatever, all the different things, it is absolutely essential in life. You'll also have the occasional hair day. What hair day basically means, it's just another way of saying, sweetie, I'm really sorry, I have better things to do today, don't count me in, I'm out, I will see you tomorrow. Because a hair day typically looks like, you wake up in the morning, you might still see her and say hi, and the rest of the day she'll pretty much spend in the bathroom, occasionally calling for me to pick up something for her, or bring her something, or make her coffee or whatever, and she'll be washing her hair, conditioning her hair, applying that one, uh, preparing her shea butter mix, doing her, her locks or whatever hairstyle uh, and that, on that day she wants to do. So this could at least take a full day. I've kind of, at, after some time, I was like, look, this is not possible. I can't be, you know, like missing out the whole day. So I said, you know what, let me jump in. You know, what can I do? And yeah, that, um, how can I say this? Kind of backfired because you will see me on those hair days now sitting with her for a couple of hours, hours, helping her with her hair, mostly taking her hair out, which I've become actually a pro in, and with a little razor blade, trying to cut out the little hair, very carefully of course, because dare you cut the wrong strand. Very dangerous, do not do it, your weekend will be ruined. And sometimes if it takes too long, hair day can actually become hair weekend. So we'll do the first four to six hours on a Saturday and we do the other four to six hours on the Sunday and there you go your weekend. By the time you know it, you will wake up Monday morning, you're more exhausted than you were Friday and you have to go back to work. So that's pretty much hair day. Now the other funny thing is, if you offer to help with hair, you might also end up going to buy the hair. At least that's what, what I did. Now you have to imagine, this is now a the typical African hair salon full of hairdressers and obviously the customers you know all sitting there 90% uh, women with their kids off and probably spending the whole day in the salon chatting or not in comes this white guy very unsuspecting looking he goes to the counter and he asks for the exact hair type with the exact color grade 1A and the length. I promise you, you have never seen more shocked and more surprised women than I normally get when I go to the shop to buy Adana's hair. And the last interesting thing that I want to share with you today is the voice. Now one thing you have to know is 
As a German, I often have to hear, oh my god, when I hear Germans speak, it sounds like they're arguing because it sounds so rough. And I, of course, I, I don't understand it because for me, it's just very normal. We just talk, we just talk normally. We don't argue, we don't shout. Now, this is a whole other level when it comes to black women. It's the same thing because for a lot of other people, it sounds like, oh my god, she is so angry, she was so mad. But it's just a very passionate way of talking. If it's a topic, for example, she's very done, is very excited about, automatically her voice will raise. But I know, of course, not out of anger or, or you know, it's just passion. And honestly, this is the sort of passion and energy that I particularly love about her. I don't want this sort of quiet, just sitting there like, oh yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. I love this feistiness, I love the passion, I love the you know, energetic voice that she has. We could be in a supermarket just having a normal conversation about pasta and which sauce to buy and you'll kind of see through the side of your eye people like staring at us like oh babe we can't speak like this we're in public and she was just burst out laughing and everybody of course feels awkward and looks away and stuff but it's just hilarious we have those moments once in a while and i just love it and it's hilarious to see people's reaction in public when we speak the way we normally speak at home. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you can potentially relate to one of the other things that I said today. As I said in the beginning, we don't normally care about where we come from or whatever, but there are just certain characters that are quite hilarious. And I'm sure Anna could make a similar video talking about all the funny things that you will encounter living with a white man. So stay tuned, I hope the message gets across to you and bye bye.